flight feathers. Everybody, good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening to y'all. Hey, um, today we're gonna go ahead and harvest, the, uh, harvest some potatoes. Um, it's definitely a little bit too early in my opinion to be doing it, but uh, my tomatoes uh, got what they call like a canker, a black spot, it's basically a fungus that just ran rapid through my entire uh, tomato crop and uh, pretty much eliminated, eliminated everything. Um, but what that fungus does is it also likes to jump onto some potato plants. We got so much rain, um, I'm hoping that that's the main reason why uh, and it's not because of my gardening skills, but I think uh, after speaking to people around me, uh, especially my neighbor, um, he has a beautiful garden as well over there, vegetable garden, and uh, his tomatoes got beat to crap this year as well. So pretty bad uh, season for tomatoes. But yeah, anyways, back to the potatoes. Um, it's like I said, it's a little early, but it's they're already the plants are already showing evidence of this like fungal issue taking over the leaves. And what I don't want to happen is for that to transfer down uh, into the potato. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest them early on. So that's what we're gonna do today, guys. So let's go see if I've even got anything to harvest. Um, and then hopefully uh, I do, I can go ahead and store those and we can fry those up and do something good with them later on. Let's do it. All right guys, so as you can see in those photos of those tomato plants that I sent up there, that I put out, uh, you can see that black spot all open down the stem and also starting to consume the leaf. And I don't know if you can make this out, but here's the potato. And potato is also starting to do the same thing. A little out of focus here, it's focusing on me right now. But you can kind of see the black here as well. And uh, yeah, it's starting on the top and then working, working its way down. Uh, the stem itself doesn't look too bad from what I see, but the leaves definitely are, are uh, looking, looking like they've got some sort of issue. So, like I said, let's rip them up and see what we come up with. Let's do it. really cool about these potato plants is they've got an absolute gorgeous flower so cool This ground is so full of clay. It's definitely not optimal for potato gardening, let me tell you. We're gonna get something out of this, but kids, don't grow potatoes in this kind of soil at home. All right guys, what little bit of harvesting I'm doing today are gonna be these two types of potatoes. Where are you? So we've got red potato it's called a romans here in germany and then the other one is a really popular uh potato grown in germany and it's the linde uh super super tasty they store pretty good um but they're great for hash browns fried potatoes um and then also to like your typical kartoffeln salad where you do like a like a parboil slice them up get them a little al dente and uh, 
throw in some wonderful German ingredients. But yeah, so those are the two types. Um, and uh, let's keep digging because I'm feeling rain come on and that's the last thing you want is a bunch of wet potatoes um, when you unearth them. Because if I had a, if I didn't have a fungus problem, I will definitely have a fungus problem after harvesting. So let's get back to it. Got one, bud. For those of you, they're all wondering why the heck I'm using a shovel to try to harvest these potatoes. Um, it's because my pitchfork sucks. So anyways, incredibly small yield. Got about, if y'all can see that. Three baby four kilos, I think. Um, and then for those of you who might be wondering why the heck are you even doing that? So much work for three to four kilos. Um, it's my yoga, guys. <laughs> it's my yoga. It's what it is. So. A bunch of brick dirt before the rain comes, which it is coming. Do that, and uh, you're gonna definitely get your heart rate up, and uh, definitely check it off the list as getting some cardio in for the day. So uh, it's a win-win. Plus, potatoes just taste awesome when they're coming from the ground, from straight from your ground. And then on top of that, man. I get to hang out with my kid, you know, and uh, watch his expression when he gets to ask me what the heck that is that he's digging out of the dirt. And then we end later end up turning it into uh, pomme frites or french fries or something later on. So full circle. It's pretty cool. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, that's it for today. Because that rain's starting to come down. Wind's starting to pick up. So it's time to clean this mess up and uh, get inside before we get too wet. So all right, guys. All the best to you. Y'all have a good one. Ciao, ciao.